Meghan was quite upset when she learned that Harry's aunt had control over Diana's trust fund, which could only pass to Harry after his divorce in 1993, four years before Diana's tragic death. Princess Diana left a will and gifted many possessions to her sons, but obtaining this inheritance turned out to be more complicated than expected. Before delving into what Diana left behind after her death, some unknown secrets surfaced, shedding light on why Harry and Meghan stepped back from their royal duties, why Archie isn't a prince, and Princess Diana's provisions for her sons. At the time of her death in August 1997, Diana had a net worth of approximately £21 million, which was equivalent to around $31.5 million United States dollars. This included various assets such as funds, stock investments, jewelry, clothing, and her £17 million divorce settlement from Prince Charles. Diana's will established a discretionary fund for her two sons and their future families, which initially held £100,000, along with accrued interest and income from the fund's assets. She specified that after distributing her possessions and allocating the discretionary fund, the remainder of her estate would go to her sons, provided it remained in a trust until they turned 25. Given their young age at her passing, the estate was indeed placed in a trust, with her mother and sister serving as trustees, as outlined in a codicil Diana added to her will in February 1996. Shortly after Diana's death, her mother and sister sought and enacted a variation to this arrangement, postponing the date at which Harry and William would inherit their share of the estate. Consequently, Harry's share from Diana's will is now under the control of his Aunt Jane Fellows, who has the authority to decide when he should receive it, with rumors suggesting he might get it after divorcing Meghan. Meghan seems to be aware of this, and some believe she has not parted ways with Harry because she's waiting to secure her part of his inheritance from his mother. During Meghan's time in the royal family, Harry received roughly $5 million from his father, and he also had income from Diana's bequest. Moreover, a significant portion of their travel and wardrobe expenses was covered, and they didn't have to worry about medical costs. They lived a life of tremendous privilege and security, along with an annual income that most of us can hardly imagine. Their decision to leave all this behind and seek a new life in Hollywood was driven by their belief that they could fare better on their own. Amidst rumors of a Sussex divorce, Meghan Markle has faced criticism for underestimating the scrutiny that comes with being a part of the royal family. Relationship expert Kate Mansfield noted that Meghan's desire for privacy and doing things her own way might seem delusional to outsiders. While some might sympathize with her privacy concerns, the fact remains that she married into immense privilege. Additionally, if she thinks she can manipulate or blackmail the royal family, she is likely to be disappointed, as such actions are unlikely to succeed.